I told you, stay cool. This is going to be quick. Oh. Now go <gasps> in the back. Make sure uh -oh. no one else is in the store. He's going for the bat. He's well trained. Oh! <laughs> Taking him out, Bill. Jesus Christ, got blood all over the bat. Yeah, take the gun. Take the gun. Oh, Disarm God. him. Bill! Oh, my God. He is the law. Ah! <laughs> Bill! Hello, everybody. I'm Simitos Ken, joined by the wonderful, luscious, and beautiful Charlie. Moist critical of Penguin Zero, the what'd you call it? Officer Officer Greg, yeah. Officer the, Greg. A, a horror movie icon. <laughs> and today we're gonna to be reacting to a video called Gas and Fuel Employee Employees Training Video. Because you know, YouTube's not gonna last forever. One of these days we're gonna to need to get a job and we gotta prepare ourselves for the gas and fuel <laughs> international oil corporation. It, nothing says last forever quite like <laughs> oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before before the, the glory days of YouTube, did you hold like a job? Did you ever have to watch one of these videos or anything? The only jobs, like normal, traditional stuff, was like a lawn mowing thing I did for a little while, which oh. was more of just like a summer job. Yeah. And then I also did like recruitment for a high school club, which was clearly not like a job because it was unpaid. <laughs> so but yeah, it was the hours put of that on my resume. I recruited for a high school club. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was basically like a Jehovah's Witness for the fing club in high school. It was miserable. Well, lucky you, I guess. <laughs> I worked a lot of jobs before I got started and I had to watch several of these videos and they're all equally awful. The only one that I know everyone loves and the one that I love is Wendy's Hot Drinks, if you've ever seen that Wendy's training video. Hot... Well, hang on, I gotta look right quick. Did a, a Wendy's employee video, but they made a song for it instead. Oh! And it's so good. Oh, oh. damn. Oh! It, it's so good. Careful when you pour it, hold it steady upon the counter. <laughs> Uh -oh. Here it comes, here it comes, baby. Oh, oh you just stopped. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. Let the chorus ride. Pour it in until the coffee reaches the line. The line. Oh, oh, oh. When these coffee, when these coffee taste taste so fun. Hot drinks really oh. get you going. Where'd you go when you feel your slow way? He's like looking at my soul right now. He's teaching me how to pour hot drinks. I know, man. This song is so good. Jesus. I have to come back to this because we got like a whole freaking eight minute clip to watch from this and I don't have you all day. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saving that think, one. Oh my God. I don't think gas and fuel is going to have something <laughs> quite as funky, but uh, we, can just, we can see at least. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty funky, man. I might, I may have spoke too soon. So is this like gas station uh, management running a gas station? Yeah, you got to be like, you got to go in the gas station. You got to run the uh, run the register. You got to wash the trash cans, play the guitar mm -hmm. like the guy was playing that's going by because he's cool and hip and trendy. I guess, <laughs> got, I mean, why not? You know, you got some horses here. You know, horses need gas stations too, I guess. Everyone does. <laughs> I mean, very. In, I'd say horses are integral to any good gas station. Thank you for choosing gas and fuel. Come again. Oh, hi, I'm Shelly. Oh, hey. I'm expecting a new trainee any minute now. Hot dog just in time for the new trainee. This, this is fantastic. This is so lovely. What a coincidence that we came in at this time. Wow. Yeah. So is this like a gas chain? Like, you're kind of old, Ken. Was this something you know very well? Well, thanks. I appreciate fuel? that. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean I'm kind of old? <laughs> Uh, no apology. I see how it is. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a factual statement, you know. Okay. Facts don't care right. about feelings or whatever. Yeah, oh, fine. Says. Uh, my feelings care about facts, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the gas and fuel. You know, it's a gas station. It's a chain. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I've been in one at you know at some point and probably late at night and got asked by a crackhead for money for cigarettes or something. Well, yeah, that sounds like gas and fuel. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm new here, and I was wondering where I... You must be Chris, our new wide receiver. I'm Shelly. Oh. I'll be your coach. Nice to meet this you, This guy's Shelley. absolutely but a serial killer. <laughs> 100% is a psychopath. <laughs> His name's not even Chris. It's like Bill or something. He's like, yeah, I'm the wide receiver. Thanks, coach. Of course. Yeah. Yes. I'm a bit confused, coach. Wide receiver? <laughs> it almost sounds like I'm a member of some sort of team. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is very confusing. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Nobody you mean does. there's more than just me here? Then we work together. I quit. No, I quit. <laughs> it sucks. I didn't want that. All of us are working together as a team towards a common goal, making gas and fuel the best international oil corporation in the world. Mm, and they <laughs> failed. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess, uh, I don't know, was this made like, I don't know, the 80s? Were you alive in oh. the 80s? 
Uh, no, 94 for me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bro, that's that, that's pretty old though. That's, that's pretty old. <laughs> what, what what do you like? I mean, math it'll wait twenty seven, twenty six, twenty six. Look, well, I yep. can't I can't be mad. My wife is twenty six, so good for me, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's a oh, good is that age, weird? Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry, also, Mary. I'm joking. Okay. I looked it up. This video is two thousand three. Two thousand three. Look, don't spoil it. Don't look up too much. Okay. Don't spoil oh, I'm sorry. It. Yeah, I was just wondering if gas and fuel. I just want to know if it still existed. Like, I don't know how I feel about this video just going to call me old the whole time, okay? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and by making the customer happy, I'm scoring a touchdown. Wow. Right on the money, Chris. Oh, wow. Right on the money, man. Heck yeah. Touchdown. $7. <laughs> Minimum wage. Actually, 6 probably at this time. But... but it's all about those home runs, making the customer happy. I thought they were playing football. No, 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 no. Home run, touchdown, goal. It's all the I mean, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Buckets. I'm Bill, the shift manager. You must be the rookie. See you out in the playing field. Oh, yeah. Thanks, good thing, though. Yeah, thanks. Could come on there, shake his hand. He just rose out of his coffin just to <laughs> shake his hand and go back. Right. If I'm the wide receiver and you're the coach. Well, who's he talking to right now? He's like looking up the side, like reading his cards or something. <laughs> He's giving her that really seductive side yeah, eye. He's flirting he's like, a little bit. Yo, girl, you know, now that we're working together, I'm ready to catch a, you know, sexual harassment lawsuit and get fired. How about you? Yeah. Spotting unsafe situations. Coffee, yeah, check. All right. Got some. Looking good. Yeah, sugar. Looking good. Everything looks safe here. Not so fast, Chris. Uh oh, Close there's up. actually a bomb. Look closer. <gasps> the microwave Jesus is Christ. running unattended. Oh, That's my right. goodness. And there's a can of paint thinner inside. My oh, wow. God! Oh! What a <laughs> that was Chris's attempt to blow up the facility. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you ever put any metal in the microwave, but it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen it get pretty wacky in some YouTube videos. <laughs> well, since we're talking about how old I am, you know, back in my day, uh, Pop Tarts were actually like in tin foil wrapping, and so if you like put the whole thing in there, you'd like catch your house on fire. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like I had a. That's crazy. I had a friend that come over for, uh, after school, and he was like, "He's like, you want a, something to eat? Yeah, Pop Tart. Okay, just put it in the microwave." Being a big brain kid, I never thought. In a million years that he would just open the packet up and throw it in there and catch the microwave on fire but he did i wouldn't have even I, I genuinely wouldn't think to do that now like the other like not even long ago like five months ago i was cooking something and i just straight up threw like a whole hunk of metal that it was in into the microwave <laughs> and it wasn't until i think it was tiana stopped me i probably would have died <laughs> it just exploded right then five months ago is that the last time that you you cooked something yep uh thanksgiving turkey yeah me too i, I haven't cooked anything in Really yeah, I, I can't cook. <laughs> yeah, I may burn uh, the house down as well. Yeah, as evidenced by just almost nuking my house. <laughs> Lesson number one, dangers aren't always found at eye level. Uh oh. <gasps> wow. Uh, there was cyanide in one You're of them. right, Shelly. I didn't even notice those <laughs> rusty oh. nails. Whoa, rusty nails just on the ground. Jesus Christ, what <laughs> happened here? <laughs> Where'd those even come from? And that takes us to lesson number two, always wear shoes. Got it. God. Oh, classic oh my Chris. God, Chris. They provided him. They provided him with the whole uniform, but they didn't have any shoes for him. And he is a serial killer. They're just walking <laughs> off the street, so he didn't have any to begin with. Oh God, how embarrassing! They must have just really had it out for Chris. They wanted him to step on the rusty nails, but he avoided it, and then they just had to educate him instead. Mm -hmm. Say, Shelley, I see what you mean about dangers not always being at eye level. Oh, it's a grand piano. Oh. <laughs> you know, Chris. Oh, it's some. <laughs> Why this? Maybe they need to hire I don't know like a maintenance man or something to come and check this place out. <laughs> they definitely need some work done around the facility here. Luckily, Chris is here. Otherwise, these things would not be fixed. <laughs> yeah, he's like the only guy that's like. Say, Shelly. <laughs> Chris, look out! Whoa, oh, God, well, Jesus! I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know this one. The freezer door is open. Exactly, and Good if eye. customer weren't paying attention, they could run right into it. Or. If an infant were to crawl in, and then some guy walked by and shut the door, that baby could freeze to death in 20, 30 minutes. That's very descriptive, Grace. Yeah, that's, that sounds like an experienced man. He's <laughs> definitely frozen a baby or two in his day. She's even giving the look right now, too, that I'm giving him, like, well, okay, all right, Chris. Uh-huh. Or suffocate. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, too. Shelly, 
I'm beginning to see that there's a lot of hidden dangers in the workplace. I think I had a really good read on Chris right away. He is absolutely a serial killer. Yeah, you think you got him figured out? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm in his head right now. There's a lot of hidden dangers. Some right in front of you. <laughs> Starts with proper maintenance. <laughs> maintenance. Well, this place definitely has a lack of. <laughs> Until Chris is uh, come along, he's going to fix everything. Yeah. Once you're hot on it, the gas and fuel, you are prepared for anything that can come your way from nails in the ground to babies stuck in meat lockers to paint thinner in the microwave. All the normal uh, hazards of a workplace. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, is this store as safe as it can be? Then make time to make it safer. You and your customers. Oh, why is the paint thinner up there to begin with? That's the real question. <laughs> your freak, like your flavors over here for your ice cream machine, right by the paint thinner. Mm, I'm thinking this is a money laundering front. <laughs> is that what, just smoke and mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, that's not how you handle that situation. No, that's exactly <laughs> how the employee handbook has you walk it through. That is textbook form from Chris. It's te it's te textbook, do you say? Mm hmm. I've seen that done a million times. <laughs> oh my god, there's a baby! He's a hero! <laughs> He's a <laughs> hero. <laughs> he single-handedly saved this place. <laughs> yep. Someone's yeah. left their baby in the store, but don't worry, Chris found it. Would you be willing to take a bullet in order to protect this store? Yes. Yep. I mean, what? What? no. Wait, what? Shelly, I just don't know. Let me, let me try let me explain it to you since like you've you've, you've mowed yards once in your life at the, <laughs> the workplace politics they will they will make it seem like if you just go out of your way to do everything for the company that they will reward you in the future and they never do she's setting them up right now she's like would you take a bullet for this place that heartless harpy oh and he's like maybe i should does that mean i'll get a raise i don't be fired and i'm like mm, i'll leave that up to you because i can't really say yes or no that sounds like gas and fuels evil schemes i just wanted to get you thinking about our next area of training security security robbery at a gas station oh, it's gonna be a whole terrorist cell coming into this one i think <laughs> yeah he's gonna hop on the turret here in a minute i think <laughs> okay now faced with these dangerous situations everybody wants to be a hero Boy, do I ever. Not me. I don't want to be a hero. Let somebody rob the place. I don't care. Yeah, I, I, did, I wouldn't be really married to the workplace. I just let it happen. It's, it's, like, it's like definitely a training video. Like, yeah, yeah. You you want to be a hero and protect the the coffee, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. fuel. <laughs> Especially the fuel. Being a hero can have deadly consequences. Take a look. Holy shit. Deadly this Consequences. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah, it's gonna be intense. This is it, man. It's now or never. Oh, the white van in the back. Oh, just so in case you didn't know, this is a reenactment. You know, this is a real. Almost 10:30. Only bad guys smoke cigarettes. Jesus, f these guys are really hardcore. Midnight. Is he wearing an eye patch? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he's got like a like the stocking around the top of his head. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. I hope he does. Maybe he turns around and he does have one. That'd be awesome. Carlos is a dead man. Not Carlos. Carlos is like a brother to me. I sure as hell not letting him get smoked for my mistake. Hell yeah. Popping pills. Doing drugs. I appreciate that the bad guys have a backstory here. Their friend Carlos apparently owes somebody money or something, and they're all in trouble, so they got to rob this gas station. Yeah, I'm almost rooting for him at this point. They look like Lucha Libres here. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, it's the shift manager. Oh, Jesus Christ, Bill, get out of there. Bill! Hands in the air, man. No funny stuff. Do off the register. All of it. No, no, take it easy, son. Are you sure you want to do this? So he's already trying to be a hero. Listen, son, you sure you want to do this? We only got like 15 bucks in the register, all right? You know. He's going to have to kill these two. I, he's going to kill them. He's going to do it. Well, oh, the shift manager's going to do it? Oh, Bill's, Bill's a deadly weapon. Oh my yeah. God. I think I hear the police. Don't go panicking on me, man. I told you, stay cool. This is going to be quick. Oh. Now go <gasps> in the back, make sure uh -oh. no one else is in the store. I knew it. He's going for the bat. Oh no, Bill. He's well trained. Oh! <laughs> Taking him out, Bill. Jesus Christ, got blood all over the bat. Yeah, take the gun, take the gun, oh, disarm God. him. Bill! Oh my God, he is the law. <laughs> Bill! <laughs> they were just trying to save Carlos! Oh this 
see it. This was supposed to be deadly consequences for being a hero, but this makes it looks like being a hero is fing awesome. <laughs> he freaking bailed the shift, man. He's <laughs> no, this guy, he was a, he was absolutely like a secret agent, special forces. <laughs> what kind I of lesson right are you supposed away. to learn from a training video from this? Look at him. He's just like, yeah, you don't mess with the wrong, the wrong gas and fuel, son. No! Oh, Bill! Oh, God! No, Bill, no! It's a, just a reenactment, okay, guys? It's not real. Everybody, everybody here may or may not actually be dead, but it's just a reenactment. He's dead! And Bill's only oh. more powerful. Oh! Bill! No! Oh, God! He's already dead! Stop! With each new bullet wound, he becomes a little bit stronger. <laughs> He's like a He's... Saiyan, you know, you beat him down. Yeah, he, with every new bullet, he becomes more well trained to handle the next. Yeah, I don't, bullet. I, man, I don't know if Bill's gonna make it through this. He's not looking too good right now. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Freeze. Jesus. Still want to be a hero? No. Well, the freaking just gonna scar him for life. <laughs> I think he wants to be a hero. <laughs> Does that make you want to be a hero? Well, if I was working at a gas and fuel, maybe. Yeah. Now let's look at the right way to handle the situation. This is a robbery. Get your hands in the air. There you go. That's right, Please, Bill. We get uh, boo. <laughs> Bill didn't do anything cool. The response time. They were they were there. They were just in the <laughs> they were out there getting gas. Good thing Bill survived that time. I mean, I don't yeah, even know if he really God. died in the last, you know, the reenactment. He looked like he was okay. He just had a little you know. Oh, for sure. I think in that timeline, he transcended to a new level. Oh, and he became like the the gas and fuel like general manager or, yeah. oh, or god. Yeah. You know, basically the same thing. Huddle up, team! Go team! Yeah, gas and fuel for life! Yay, yeah, we've done it. We are now gas and fuel veterans. This is Quentin Tarantino training filming. Yeah, <laughs> the deadly consequences. That was, I don't know. That was uh. That was, that was high production. I'm proud of him. Yeah, it's just a great, high quality training video. Yeah, just like this one right here. I just they're in the like the boardroom. What do we need to do to get these employees trained right? A catchy song. Yes. They did a great job. It's not only this one. They also have a cold drink song too. What? Here we go. <laughs> Soft drinks, lemonade, water, cold tea. It's up to you. It's up to me. Cold wow. All right. That's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, leave a like, do all that cool stuff. Check out Charlie. He's got a channel full of plenty of fantastic videos. And uh, yeah, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay toasted, my friends. And I love you just as much Thanks as- Thanks for having me on. Yeah, just as much as I love Charlie, you know, secretly. We know. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Come again.